Let's talk about the battle over masks. You know, the White House is saying to 3M, limit those N95 respirator masks that are so desperately needed around the world. The prime minister talked about that yesterday. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, well, the first thing the prime minister said he's not going to do is retaliate uh, for this uh, order from the White House to uh, forbid 3M, which is the world's biggest maker of N95 masks. Uh, 3M's been forbidden to export to Canada. Uh, Trump saying yesterday, uh, late in the afternoon, that uh, we want all of these and we don't want them to go anywhere else. The prime minister is trying to impress on the president that, you know, our, our, the safety of all our citizens depends on integrated health care networks. For example... 1,500 Canadians, Canadians who live in Windsor, Ontario, go to work every day in hospitals and clinics in Detroit, Michigan, one of the hardest hit hotspots in the United States. And those 1,500 Canadians are trying to save American lives. And I'm not sure if the president has been told about that, but that's a good example of the tit for tat going back. There's a pulp mill in Nanaimo, B.C. that makes a very special kind of pulp using western red cedar only grown in Canada. And the quality of the fiber in this kind of pulp is perfect for the making of surgical masks and gowns and drapes in hospitals. All of the pulp from this Nanaimo mill goes to an American customer that makes these surgical masks and gowns and drapes, some of which come back to Canada, some of which goes to America. Those are just some examples of how Canadian people and goods and supplies are helping save Americans. And the prime minister is trying to say, listen, uh, let's negotiate this to say N95 masks. There'll be plenty for Americans and Canadians need them as well. Premier Doug Ford was hopping mad yesterday uh, uh, because some of those uh, masks that are being made by 3M in Minnesota were supposed to be in Ontario this week. And uh, he is really uh, disappointed in, in Donald Trump, he said. And, uh, and the, the uh, thinking there is, I guess you know who your friends are when times get tough. Right now, as far as Doug Ford is concerned, Donald Trump is no friend of Canada's.